really enjoyed playing with each other, so that was really fun. And obviously, a team like this is something very special and doesn't come around much in your career. Um, from the 17-game win streak to, you know, just a great camaraderie every day in the rink and, uh, you know, a nice little playoff run we had um, was phenomenal and something I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. Obviously, it uh, must have been difficult to, for yourself to, to not be there in the Pacific Division Finals. Just, uh, you know, you're around the guys, but, but not able to be out there, uh, you know, in, in the playoffs. Uh, you know, how did you kind of deal with that and, and not being able to be out there? Yeah, it was really tough um, when you see the guys battle their hearts out, going to multiple overtimes and never give up till the end. You want to be out there and, and fighting for them. Um, but injuries are part of the game, and it's unfortunate. And I'm going to take the adversity and be stronger for it moving forward. And obviously, you know, you weren't able to play in the in the second round there, but going into the summer, just your health and, and how you kind of see yourself getting set up for the summer and into into training camp next year. Absolutely. It's going to be a big summer for me. I'm really looking forward to putting a lot of time in, in the weight room, um, working on size, strength, and speed, and, and uh, obviously my skills as well. So I'm really looking forward to a good summer of work. You saw the support of this community and, and kind of the buzz around town, maybe you more so than, than anybody, especially – uh, being able to, to kind of be up there and, and part of the crowd as well, too, during the playoffs. Uh, uh, how did you, did you see the support of this uh, community and, and the way you guys kind of rally things here uh, in the playoffs? Yeah, it was funny. Watch a game seven. I was 10 times more nervous than I've ever been um, watching or playing in a game myself or game five at home in the double overtime. Um, my heart was pounding the whole game and I uh, was so pumped when Curry scored that goal. Um, so, yeah, it's been a great atmosphere to be in front of the fans that really rallied around us. and. They're a big con contributor to our success, and we really appreciate them coming out. Uh, you more so than anyone developed, a, you know, a connection with, with Jay Waycroft and, and kind of two peas in the same pod, if you will, in terms of hockey uh, nuts and and guys who like to you know live, breathe, and, and eat the game. Uh, just your thoughts on on Jay and what he's meant for your career here in the first year. He's been phenomenal. You, you never really know what to expect when when you have a new coach and you haven't really been around him or heard much about him. But he's been one of my favorite coaches I've ever had. He's put so much time and effort to improving my game and making me a more complete player in all aspects. And he's done that with the, all of the players on the team. All the players on the team respect him. Um, they've learned so much from him, and his record speaks for itself. And the success we've been able to have this year is very, very big part is because of him. Cooper, your second summer uh, heading – sorry, you're, you're heading into your second summer as part of the Edmonton Oilers organization. What's your goal heading into August or September when uh, rookie camp and training camp rolls around? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to have, uh, like I said before, I'm going to have a big summer. Um, that's something I'm really looking forward to. And uh, come training camp, um, you know, I'm not going to make any distinctive promises, but I can say that you know, I'm going to be ready and ready to compete for a job. Uh, you drew into some NHL action this past season. One, what was that experience like? And then two-part question, uh, how much do you draw from that experience and how does that kind of maybe help you set yourself up? For this Absolutely, season? it was huge. Uh, I had a good amount of time up there to learn from the best people in the world and play at that environment. And uh, it was good exposure for me, for sure. And I'm confident that you know I can be a, a very, very effective player at the NHL level. So that's something that I'm going to prove every day in the weight room, prove every day on the ice in the summer with training. And come training camp, uh, you're going to see a Cooper Moody that's ready to go. Uh, what does the summer of 2019 look like for Cooper Marody beginning with tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I just uh, got to work on getting back to completely 100% and uh, you know take a little time off to let the body heal and recover and whatnot. And uh, you know, maybe hang out with some friends and family and then get back to work uh, shortly. But you know, I'm looking forward to you know getting away from the ring for a little bit, as everybody is, and after a long, hard season. And um, really looking forward to long summer workouts. What was it like sharing the experience of the call up with a lot of guys in there who also made their their first got their first look at the top level? It was great. Everybody was so excited for one another when we got called up. There was never really a, a jealousy or um, that kind of tension in the room. Everybody was very excited and supportive, and you know, everybody did great and proved that they can play at that level. So um, Edmonton Oilers have a good future ahead, in my opinion. Uh, we've seen a few guys come in here clean shaven. You've elected to keep your beard. Uh, yeah. Is that going to be a full time thing now? Um, well, I've ca I've had a, a beard a little bit. I've yeah. kind of trimmed it up, but I don't think it's been this long in a little while. So, um, you know, I like it for now. Uh, nowadays, the style is beards are in. So, uh, we'll see how long that lasts, though.